Hey guys, Ralph here, <clears throat> and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday before Christmas uh, in Connecticut. Life's good, man. Life's good. Although uh, life is not so good for the uh, Stanmark family, as you know. This is going to be a non-play uh, day in honor of that, and we'll be back to it tomorrow. But uh, Stanmark has passed away. The iconic lead trumpet player for uh, Maynard Ferguson's band um, for about nine years. And I, I just took for granted he was there forever and he was going to be there forever, which is kind of strange. But nine years doesn't seem that long as to my concept of what he was. Um, he was there when I saw him. It was the uh, Maynard... Lynn Nicholson, Stan Mark band, you know, Chameleon and all that sort of stuff. And it's just game changer for me. Um, not only Maynard and Lynn Nicholson, but he was just killing it. Now, when I think of, now, first of all, I don't know that much about him. I take for granted he was about my age, early 70s, and we'll get to that in a, in a bit. Um, uh, started when he was quite young in uh, one of the Navy bands and then went to the Navy, Com lead trumpet with the Navy Commodores and then he was off with Maynard. Um, so he had his ducks in a row as a trumpet player, as a musician and all that sort of stuff. But um, I used to talk about him a lot on these videos as the perfect example of overballing. Okay, and that has nothing to do with what we're going to do today, but th that is what I used him. And I always said, overblowing can work. Look at Stan Mark. I mean, guys, he killed that lead chair, he absolutely killed that lead chair for a long time. And that is not an easy life. That is not an easy life. The bulk of the road work that I did was all show work. When you pull into a city and you stay there for a week, two weeks, whatever. This is one-nighters, you know, play MacArthur Park and zillions of other things, get on a bus, drive all night, you know, bathe at, at a Howard Johnson's, you know, and, and go to, it's a tough, tough life. Um, after leaving Maynard's band, he uh, uh, did some of his own recordings and has his own band. His own band um, toured with... Um, backing up people like Nelson Riddle and stuff like that. They just took his band as opposed to putting a whole different band together. And um, yeah, he had a long and illustrious musical career all as a lead trumpet player, powerhouse. Now, when I think of Maynard, now again, when I think of Maynard Th Ferguson, I can't not think of Stan Mark. He just exemplifies, from what I can tell, my, my per perception, everything that Maynard was trying to get across. Loud, brassy, brilliant, centered, high octane, in your face. And man, he was the perfect, the perfect lead trumpet player for that. Absolutely was. Um, and I think I told you, uh, that was the first, he was playing lead with Lynn Nicholson the first time I ever heard Maynard. Now I heard him in New York, the Palace Theater, um, and I'll tell you what, man, <laughs> I had just jumped off the turnip truck from Portland, Maine. Okay. I didn't know anything. Be -da -da -da. That's all I knew. That's all I knew of trumpet. Okay. I knew of Maynard Ferguson. Yeah. High notes, blah, blah. I knew of him and I heard a recording or two live. Oh my God. Game changer. Game changer. As soon as I get home, I go back into my apartment. I didn't care what time it was. I was going to try to play high notes. Well, you know, I couldn't, <clears throat> right? On my Bach one and a quarter C, I couldn't. And that started the whole thing. That one concert, I was enamored with chops. Why can't I? Why can't I play high? You know, on a C trumpet and a one and a quarter C mouthpiece, I, I could play a high C on a C trumpet and play the the basic, you know, orchestral works. But all of a sudden, man, I wanted the whole enchilada. And I was trying everybody to teach me. I tried everything, and that's when I met Jerry, and we were off to the races. The fact that Jerry uh, knew Maynard quite well only helped. Um, 
But anyway, Stan Mark, gone too soon. Now, I'm going to take this time, guys, to get out of my soapbox. And I know some of you don't like it. I don't care. But guys, I, I don't know exactly. I checked uh, Google and all this sort of stuff, and I couldn't get his age anywhere. I'm surmising he was in his early to mid-70s. Okay? Okay? The point is, guys, he should still be with us. I taking for granted that he lived a hard life with the alcohol and stuff. Um, as again, the life he chose as a road musician like that, as though it can seem glamorous, it's said is a very, very tough life. And I don't care how old he is, guys, it's too young. You have to take care of yourself, guys. You are not going to win this. Mother Nature wins every single time. I don't know what he died of. I haven't been able to find out anything. So, that's that. But the fact of the matter is, guys, I call this trumpet fitness for a reason. Those are my two loves, okay? Trumpet and how it pertains to the physical culture of the human body. And that means taking care of our instrument. That means taking care of your instrument. Guys, so many times when you get up and, geez, your chops are just not making it. What did I do? I need a mouthpiece. Was I tense it? Guys, it could be that you just didn't get a good night's sleep and you're exhausted. This is it, and you have to take care of it. And the fact of the matter is, guys, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. That's all there is to it. If you eat and drink your fruits and vegetables, that's all you eat. Now, if you follow my other channel, that's not all you have to eat, but that is the foundation. If that's all you eat, and I go months sometimes, and that's all I eat. You will not get sick. You will not have heart disease. You will not have high blood pressure. You will not have type 2 diabetes. You will not have a stroke. And if you have those things, you can get rid of them. That's just a fact, and I won't... I won't belabor the issue anymore but take this to the bank guys Maynard Ferguson should still be with us and Stan Mark should still be playing lead for him case closed and from there you guys make the decision all right I'm not gonna preach it's a sad day but that's uh, that's a fact and I don't know I'm taking for granted it just happened recently I can't find anything on the internet it says why he died or whatever the case may be. But that's it. Stan Mark, God bless you. You're a great, great lead trumpet player for this, for the iconic, iconic Megan Ferguson. And um, you've influenced lots of different people. Think about it, guys. How different would all of our lives be if Megan Ferguson never existed? Now think about that. Think about that for a minute. There are high note players, you know, Cat Anderson and Harry James and all this sort of stuff. But did anybody really bring it mainstream more than Maynard? I think the way we play the trumpet right now would be radically different if Maynard never existed. Just something to think about. Anyway, guys, I don't mean to preach. Well, yes, I do. I love you all. I love you all, and I want you to live a long and happy life. And I'll tell you what, I would make a $1,000 bet with every single one of you that I will be playing double C's when I'm 100 years old. The problem is, you guys are not going to be around for me to collect on the bet. <laughs> and I hope that doesn't sound anything more than what it is. Okay? Guys, love you all. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables, and live your life with true power. Love you all. Okay.